This episode is brought to you by Glowfish Serviced Office Space and Virtual Office Services in Bangkok and Cometive Production. Welcome to Hotel Intel. Call. I'm Women Dry and I'm your host today. Joining me in、um, our conversation today about a new kind of hotel, new kind of space is、um, Gowin Wong Kus on Kit, and he's here with us today. Welcome. Thank you.、Um, let's just talk about your first hotel, your hotel now, Adlib. How did that concept come about? Um, actually, uh, we it it was a, a land that we already have,、uh, and it was an old uh, house um, that we used to live in. So um, uh, my original business was in was in、uh, you know service offices and office buildings. So this was something new,、um, but、um, the concept was、uh, we have very limited space, so we really have to maximize the use of of that space, and also. Uh, because uh, thinking coming from a service office background, we have to really, really think of everything as a、um, in terms of revenue per square meters,、mm-hmm. as opposed to a revenue per you know available room.、Um, so、um, having the space to、uh, design the hotel for for forty eight rooms、uh, means that um, no um, hotel operators would want to operate、right. a forty eight room hotel. So、um, you also have to think about how to how to run it. How to run it, um, and um, so that that that's something、uh, we we try to think from the ground up, as opposed to relying on uh, uh, conventional kind of uh, management uh, philosophies running、uh, uh, with, with with conventional hotels. So we try to create something that is uh, more friendly, uh, more freestyle, more.、Uh, we want the guests to feel like they're.、Um, You know, to to feel free to do anything they want. To you know,、uh, hence the name Adlib, which means,、mm-hmm. you know,、um, be my guest. You know,、uh, improvise. Be your own. You are free to do. So it、anything. sounds like you. So you have a、um, service office background. So it sounds to me like you're a space kind of guy. You、mm-hmm. work with space. You, We work with space. Yeah, work you with space. make a business out of space. So the bigger the space, the more revenue you can generate. Is that correct? Um, generally, generally that's the case because、yeah. then your your、uh, you park your fixed cost、uh, somewhere, and、mm-hmm. obviously the、uh, more you can scale it,、um, generally the better. And、um, how does it work with the hotel though? Because the smaller the room, the lower the rate.、Uh, yes,、yeah, generally that's the case.、Um, good point.、Um, we、uh, for for our rooms, we've、uh, we we had a choice between、um, bigger rooms and thirty two of them. Or smaller rooms and forty-eight of them、um, in in our limited space, and we we went with smaller rooms.、Um, and what we find that、um, we made a bet、uh, that people will trade off、um, a smaller space, but for more comfort.、Mm-hmm. Um, so we, you know, all the facilities in the room are、uh, five-star quality. So、um, and and that's paid off. I think、um, per per square meter, we can benchmark our、um, our rev par to.、Um, All the five star hotels in Bangkok. So you said you take a risk, like make a bet in when you're building. There, have you done like your、um, accessibility,、uh, accessibility when you when you before you for, open it? So when we did uh, feasibility, um, no, uh, um, any conventional、um, hotel feasibility、um, doesn't really apply for for our location.、So、But you did it to, anyway.、Yeah. Uh, I think I think we did, we start from the the desire to make a space that is. Completely unique、mm-hmm. uh, because I'm I'm a traveler,、uh, and whenever I travel to a new destination, I, I like to I'm the sort of guy who looks for my own hotels. I'm, I'm not relying on、uh, brands or chains. I I would look for a specific location and a specific type, and, and I I would look for a unique experience.、Uh-huh. Um, so uh, when we start from, we we know there are、uh, this a lot of this type of traveler, and it's growing. And so we 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 only we know that we only need to be you know top twenty on a trip advisor and, and 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 people will come to us anyway. So we design a space that's unique, that's exciting, but、mm-hmm. comfortable,、um, and、um, with our limitations, we came up with、uh, Adlib. Interesting. Adlib.、Mm-hmm. Um, I want to know. I want to know more about your target. You said you're a type of traveler who、um, doesn't go by the rule, so、uh-huh. you don't just. Okay, this is a brand that I will stay here forever,、mm-hmm. wherever you go.、Mm-hmm. So you just look for something different.、Mm. So how? What do you know about this kind of 
travelers? What, who are they? What do they want? What do they need in hotel? I think, I think, um, and I think tra the patterns of, of, of traveling ch change a lot with uh, technology. Mm -hmm. um, whereas, uh, you know, maybe 10, 20 years ago, if I were to go overseas and find a place to stay in a country I don't know, um, I would probably rely more on um, agents and, and, and chains. And, but, but, but obviously now, nowadays people travel so much, right. um, Thailand being a very common destination. Um, and also um, there are so many review sites out there that's very trustworthy. Um, and so um, the need to, to rely on chains and brands uh, is not really there. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I, think, I think you just have to make something that's very good in quality and then people uh, give you good reviews, and that's all you need to attract, to attract uh, travelers. People, people choose their own place to stay when they travel these days. They, unless they're corporate travelers, um, a lot of them now uh, choose their, their own destination. So um, you at least can it be categorized as a um, boutique hotel? I guess so, boutique. because of the size, because, the because of the size hotel. of it, yeah. because of the design of it. Mm -hmm. It could be boutique, could be design hotel. Yeah. Uh, we really go all out with our designers. Mm. Um, so we use three different designers. So see, when you talk about boutique hotels or design hotels, people are always like, oh, my boutique hotel is different because we have design and mine is also different and mine is also different. And Everyone can say they're different because yeah, they're designed. So, but how, how do you make your property stand out? Um, well, we recently got nominated. Um, well, we're going to talk about design first. Right. We, we recently did uh, get nominated uh, for the uh, best landscape planning uh, for uh, the World Architecture Festival in Berlin. Um, congratulations. Passed. Thank you. I, I didn't go, but my architects went and yeah. they had a lot of fun. Um, and so, so we really plan our space really well. Um, and the owners, uh, really, myself, really got involved with the three the, uh, different designers. And mm -hmm. we revised our design 15 times. Mm -hmm. it, uh, you know, it, it was a very thorough process. Um, but aside from that, you asked how, how is it different um, it, it starts from the philosophy that we, we, we treat each space as um, we treat the hotel quite differently from a conventional hotel that you need, you know, where, where, where you would maximize your revenue on rooms. Mm -hmm. um, we know that uh, with only 48 rooms, there has to be something else to offer um, that draws in the crowd. Um, so uh, we know that our F&B would have to be very strong. Right. Um, and of course, we don't have a lot of space for F&B but we have a lot of space uh, for, for lobby. So we merge them together. Mm -hmm. So you come in and, and it creates a sense of entry. You come in and there's a, a sofa in the middle where um, that's where you check in, or you can check in your rooms. Uh, right. These days, a lot of people, uh, we, you, we should know in advance who's coming. Uh, right. and, um, and then on your left would be uh, the open kitchen. So you know immediately you can, you know, it's, it's, it's excitement, it's a lot of people. Um, and on your right, it's a, it's a bar. Mm -hmm. So we create a space that's in our lobby that can work 24 hours as well um, as, as in variety of functions. So um, we, in our small hotels, we've organized events for CLSA for 400 people, uh -huh. for Dior launch, for you know, launch of a lot of new products, uh, high-end products. And um, we, we use the lobby uh, we, because we're so small and we're so unique. Mm -hmm. we, we're not afraid of using functions that would otherwise be for guests, mm -hmm. but we do invite guests. Um, the only condition for for people organizing events in our space is that you're using the guest facility. Right. Um, so could you please uh, invite them? And generally, it's, a, it's more fun for the guests. Ah, if, um, so you had to invite everyone to join whatever event is happening. At, at a time. So, so there's time. something mm -hmm. going on all the time. Mm -hmm. um, there's a birthday party in one corner. There's a, you know, there's, um, and our space, um, because, because of the focus on F&B, uh, we actually have a lot of people, a lot of locals come 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 to eat there right. um, so um, it's it, it stems from my own belief when I when I go overseas and if I go to a hotel and there's no local sitting at the restaurants I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not gonna go there like, I, you feel I, like I, something wrong with this place. <laughs> you know like I would like to go where the locals go but mm -hmm. it just turns out that lo we have more locals dining in our hotel than 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 international guests so uh, you know we create we create a space that would be a like a community center for the locals mm -hmm. as well and that makes it more fun for our for our type of travelers who would like to be very much part of the community. And what is the plan for your next hotel? For the next hotel, well, first of all, 48 rooms is too large, uh, too, too small. Too, too small. small. Mm -hmm. um, but if, it, so if, if you go bigger, would I get the same feeling of I, like... I don't think so, to mm -hmm. be honest. Um, 
it's very hard to create that kind of feeling. Uh, we're going to try as much as possible to to do that um, and and to go to go more more so than most most hotels uh, to create that kind of exclusive um, feeling with how how we design it, how you know how we create different pockets where people can relax, where people can engage, uh, mm -hmm. where people can be social over a cup of coffee. Um, but um, you know we tr still try to maintain that uh, exclusive kind of a little bit hidden feeling of, of, of Adlib. Uh, it's going to be harder, but it can be done. Mm -hmm. um, it's very difficult to try to pinpoint how that can be done because it's, it's all the way through space planning, design. Yeah. Um, when, we, when we say design, it's not just the product design, it's how we design the service as well, Right. which is different. Um, how our staff are dressed, um, and we don't even call our staff service because uh, we don't want them to be, to be servants. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we How want do you them, want them? We, we just, people. We want people. them to be people. And mm -hmm. for people, they have to understand people. Mm -hmm. They have to be able to be the guests as well when they're not serving. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's the ideal anyway. In, in reality, there's, there's limitations. So we have to kind of, we still have a lot to learn. And when, when is this um, project going to be done? For the, for the second location, I'm, I'm, we're just only drafting uh, okay. the plan right now. Um, um, and really just creating a wish list of uh, what we want to do, um, learning from our mistakes as well, what not to do. Um, but uh, we're still looking for locations. And what are the things that not to do for this new new location? Oh my God. If you can just give us a few example. Wow. Um, hundreds of them, but... Just a few of them, not a hundred. Really? No, um, what not to do? It's just that um, when I... Number one, number one uh, thing for me right now is uh, when 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 I created a space that that I tried to blend um, restaurants functions and bars yeah. and, and lobby, lobby yeah. and everything that worked to some extent, and I created desks that are uh, tables that are you know some high, some low, some you know different pockets for people to 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 to, to you know um, whatever they feel comfortable. Right. With. But uh, in reality, to to operate in that kind of environment is not the most efficient uh, way, way, way to operate mm -hmm. uh, for the staff. Uh, oh. And some people get really confused uh, of which staff to address. Oh, and right. whereas previously we would, uh, for example, say, if you're, if you're a staff at the restaurant, you're automatically a front desk staff. Mm -hmm. um, you should know the functions of the hotel that well. In reality, the people who are, for example, concierge is very important. People who are concierge will be concierge. They, they're very, we, you, know, they, you can't expect everybody to be good at everything. Right. Um, so you have to create a specialist uh, at, 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 you know, um, and how we design where the guests can come in and they re recognize that this is the specialist for, 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 for this function. Uh, I think, I think but can you just important. train the staff to work multiple tasks? They to some to some extent, and our staff are already doing that. Right. And, uh, okay. I would say they're very good at it. Because um, me, as a yeah. guest, I wouldn't just so if I want to order uh, a, a cocktail, uh -huh. and then I don't know which staff it which staff, and I just lose lost my appetite, and then you know what, I'm not ordering this. Yeah. Instead of like, okay, you get me cocktail, or you yeah. like, you know, it's easier for your guests yeah. to just order. It, it, it's true. Order. It's true. Um, it's 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 that as well, but but I'm I'm quite a, um, I'm a perfectionist as well, and mm. uh, to some extent I'm not there yet. But at the end of the day, there's only there's only one guy who's going to make me a coffee at 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 at, at any one time, uh -huh. and it has to be the best coffee maker we have. Right. Um, and for cocktails, um, personally, I won't even order it if the guy that I know is is the best at creating cocktails mm. that that we have is not there. I, I'm that particular. Okay. I know not every guest is like that, um, mm -hmm. and, and we try to, you know, eh, but, but unfortunately, no bar staff is the same. Right. Everyone have very particular sense, uh, uh, yeah. sets of skills, and mm -hmm. um, ideally, we would like the best person to be at the best station at, at any one time, but it's very hard to, to, to make that a reality, and, uh, but we strive to get there. So, yeah. so that's, how, that's how reality is very different from how I, we've designed it, because when we designed it, we thought, Everyone can make coffee. Everyone, mm. you know, everyone who is bar can make coffee. Everyone who is service can also be front and blah blah blah. Right. And, but um, um, mixing of space works to some extent, uh, and it has its uh, shortfalls as well. So now talking about mix of space, you are um, you now launching a new um, uh, service office, which yes. is four thousand square meter office, and mm -hmm. it has 
all the facilities that hotel a hotel should have. It like, has more, actually. It has more. Okay, uh, tell me uh, more it about it. It should be best in class in Asia. Um, it, uh, you know, there's two gyms in it. Um, there's uh, four different restaurants. There's um, wow. there's a, photo, a photography studio. There's um, all, all types of, uh, you know, um, meeting space, creative space for a variety of events. There's, of course, your service offices, um, your one desk companies, uh, your freelancers. So mm -hmm. space that's both for um, for extroverts, but also a lot of people tend to forget when they, they design uh, service offices and co-working space, they forget that 50% of the people are introverts. True. Uh, and um, so you have to design a space that introverts feel that they can recharge mm -hmm. as well. That's why you have a nap room and... We have nap rooms and sleeping rooms. We, even even in their own cubicles, there are space where they can, uh, they can, they can, they can nap. And, and, uh, we have people. We have this thing called one desk companies. Mm -hmm. uh, they get their own cubicles and they can actually lie flat on the bed, like in like a business class, so, like, um, a, like a business class. Yeah, uh, like a flat bed business class. Yeah. So whenever they feel like, uh, whenever they feel they can be social, they can leave leave the curtain open. Uh, whenever simple. they want to close it, they can close it. They can go to bed. They can, um, and um, just having some flexibility there. Um, but also when they want to engage, there's a map, there's a there's a big space for mm -hmm. co working. Uh, and that's uh, fueled by four different restaurants. Um, wow. And we pick, we share a pick the best. We really go, you know, um, please come and join us for this particular reason. And, nice. Um, that's, that's so you now master of um, space sharing. Well, not, not, say, not, not to say master, but, but we try as getting there. I think, I think it's a lot of people forget. Um, they, a lot of people tend to design space very beautifully. Mm -hmm. um, but Beautiful space and functional space are very different. Um, so you really have to, the owners really have to know what, how they're going to operate the space, how they're going to design the flow of the service around the space, and mm -hmm. and, and merge them with uh, designers. I mean, we we, could we do, uh, on, on 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 this one, we work with our designers. Uh, must have met at least twelve times already, before uh, the first draft, the first kind of um, mm -hmm. uh, perspective come out uh, because. You know, just just tweaking the layout of the space so that people will be op optimized for a variety of functions. And when you can cross, when you can uh, have space that can do multiple functions uh, properly, um, that's when you get some really interesting values. So, will you in the near future combine your hotel and this um, service office together in one building? So you have it all. You have your Kappa mm -hmm. Delhi. You have uh -huh. your hotel, and you have your offices. That, that's very interesting because a lot of people are already trying to do that uh, to, to some extent. Um, we, we work, for example, has their core leading and um, there's a couple of people around Asia that do that have buildings, that's, mm -hmm. uh, offices and uh, hotels and, uh, you know, there, there are some benefits for, for doing that, but I haven't found the benefit to, to, to be so strong yet uh, simply because um, I mean, obviously, shared parkings and things. I mean, some 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 types of uh, business use parking at, in the daytime, mm -hmm. and other types use at nighttime. Uh, but in terms of like, natural assumption would be that if you come for an office, you'd stay in a room, and then you would eat at the same place. Right. Um, but in reality, like when you're a business traveler, you you're very cost conscious as well. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're trying to optimize the on the hotel side, as well as the office side and everything else. Um, no, no one's really willing to make a discount. You, right. You're really going to go for the highest um, you can do as a hotel. And sometimes that doesn't go along in the same as, as, as your office plan. So, so trying to package together, um, there has to be a way. There will be a way, but uh, I personally haven't found it. But you think about it. I, I am thinking about it a lot uh -huh. now. Yeah, yes. Okay. Because I think it would be cool, for example, someone who run the business out in Singapore or Hong Kong and have a visual staff in Bangkok, mm. they would just want to stay in a hotel that has a co-working space mm. and eat and everything just in one building and then take off. It, this, this, it would work if you have, say, if, if you are, um, if, if, say, your hotel occupancy would normally be 60% mm -hmm. and by adding office, you get 90%. Uh, Obviously, that's, you know, that, that's how it would work. But, um, if we're going to run a hotel, it will be 90% anyway, yeah. occupancy. So uh, we're going to not have to need to rely on, on, on these uh, crossover functions. Right. So they're going to have to add values in different ways other than filling up the rooms. 
uh, is, is what I'm, I mean. They, they, I mean, a lot of hotels already have function rooms. I mean, those things are obvi obviously very complimentary. Mm -hmm. uh, but what, but, you know, service offices, are they, are they going to be complimentary? I, I still have to find a model for that. Mm -hmm. and maybe, maybe some others have already found it. Um, yeah. and there, there are plenty of places in Singapore or Malaysia that I know uh, that already uh, does this. But, but I, I, don't see, I don't see how that, that's adding genuine value. Uh, most of the time, most of the cases I see that, uh, that that they're not strong in one area and they're using the other area to 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 supplement. Right. Uh, so. Okay. So last question: um, What is your secret in running a successful business? You have a lot of um, things going on. Um, people, uh, finding the right people, um, and making sure they stay. I guess. <laughs> how do you keep? How do you keep them? That's uh, probably the real question. Um, no, having an office like ours helps. Mm -hmm. uh, really, um, uh, one of the key selling points for for Goldfish Service Office is uh, uh, people come and they love the space, and they're more likely for the companies who rent with us mm -hmm. uh, to attract talents and to retain talents. That's really like a, the way you design an office and the flow of it, um, mm -hmm. and how you encourage people to be to be social or to be private when they want to be. Mm -hmm. uh, really helps them want want to be. You, you spend most of your time at work now. Uh, so you really need to want to be there. Uh, you have a nap room in your office. Yes. But do you allow the staff to take a nap? Yes, yes, we do. Yeah? Genuinely, I do. Um, they just don't do it as much when I'm around. <laughs> so yeah, okay. there are realities there where, and also the, the you know, um, Thai culture are very respectful of, of, uh, of the owners as well. So they tend to be a little bit nervous when I'm around. Oh, okay. Thank you for joining us today and thank you our guests to be with us and thank you for letting us use the space, Glowfish Siam, and until next time, goodbye.